We like to get creative with our event names here. Fibonacci is one of them, and Mike Arsenault has more on that. Director of the CrossFit Games, Dave Castro, says he takes inspiration from the world of art, literature, and mathematics when designing events, while the Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where each number is the sum of the two previous numbers. One, one, two, three, five, eight, and 13. That's the rep scheme on this event. One man finished last year. Only two men have finished so far through three heats. Thank you, Mike. The top 10 men in the overall standings in this final heat. Pat Velder in lane four has been the living embodiment of Murphy's Law so far <laughs> in this competition, but he is still in third place overall. But he might be Murphy's Law, but I love the fighting spirit. So here we go. We started off this year with the mechanical issues, chains coming off. We saw him fall from the cargo net. Watch this drop. Boom! Even had to go on a trip to the hospital. This guy has been through the ringer and still is able to fight him with his way and stay in the mix. He's currently sitting in third place overall. I'll tell you what, if this kid can catch a break, it's going to be something amazing. And he's trying to catch that man, Matt Fraser, the overall leader by 20 points. Final heat of Fibonacci underway. We begin with those five deficit handstand push-ups. So right off the gate, you see what my keys are here, no fails. You, you cannot have fails on these handstand push-ups. And the way it's set up with that 5, 8, 13, break them up early. The next thing, those big, big kettlebells, 203 pounds in each hand. Look how big and awkward those things are. So you're going to see that the feet are very close together. It's a whole different style of deadlift because you don't have a bar out in front. So there's a lot of dealing, a lot of managing with those kettlebells you have to kind of play with as you work your way through this event. Jorgen Gumitsen was the first man done with those five deficit handstand push-ups and five kettlebell deadlifts. And now we move on to the round of eight. Gumitsen is on the bottom left of your screen. Leader's name highlighted in a blue box at the top. The number of reps he has completed will be in the white box. The number Ooh. next to everyone else's name will indicate how many reps behind they are of the leader. And if you see, Vellner did not break before Matt Frazier broke. Now, this is the thing. Matt knows how to do this. He did very well in this last year, came in second. He was He's taking an early break, so we talked about not failing. That's very smart for him to do that. Pat Vellner, even though he has his gymnastic skill, went a little bit longer. But they just need to make sure they don't get close to that failure mark. Let's go down to Mike Arsenal on the competition floor. Guys, there are disparate predictions of how many men were going to complete Fibonacci here in 2018. A few guys told me they expected fewer than three. Other guys said 10 plus. Director of the Games, Dave Castro, said he hoped 10 to 15 men would finish this. Only two through three heats. We'll see if any more will be added to that tally. Thanks, Mike. You're over Carl Gubitz, and you saw him walking his kettlebells forward. He is the first man done with the round of eight. There are 67 total repetitions in this event. At the 52 mark, they will take off down the floor on that 59-foot overhead walking lunge with the two 53-pound kettlebells head held over their heads. Now, last year, BKG down the bottom left-hand side of your screen there. He did this event, came in seventh place overall. So, again, he's pretty experienced. He knows what this is. He knows where to make the breaks. He remembers exactly what this felt like. But he was capped plus nine reps. So he's doing very well, managing that rest. And again, we want to see these guys not sit up in that handstand position. If they're not going to move, they need to come off. That's exactly what BKG just did there. Matt Fraser is your leader right now through 35 reps. Patrick Velder four behind him in second, and Bjorn Gumitsen is third. Lucas Holmberg is the man who is closest to Matt Fraser in the overall standings. He trails him by 20 points. And Hogberg is the big guy in the blue shorts who just kicked up on the parallel. Stands underneath him. He's in lane number six. Now on the right of your screen is Lucas Hogberg and Matt Fraser is now onto his round of 13 kettlebell deadlifts halfway to the six minute time cap. You know, I was really curious about how Matt was going to handle this. He's never really had this much pressure on him at this particular part in the games. We saw him falter a little bit on the cleans earlier, so we wanted to see if he could actually handle the pressure of being chased. I'll tell you what, he looks very confident right now. He knows he's ahead of everybody, but there, Pat Vellner is the guy that's keeping the pressure on him all the way through. Pat Vellner in third place overall, 74 points behind Matt Fraser. He needs to start beating him in events in order to pick up points, but Matt Fraser is a man 
who does not surrender points easily. And now Lucas Hoberg is going to join Fraser and Velder on the kettlebell deadlifts. And Hoberg has been amazing. He had an incredible start at this particular game. He just needs to hold on to that position. He has to keep fighting. Matt Fraser will be the first man on the overhead walking lunge. And Pat Felder is now done. Frazier taking off down the floor. Time to beat 522.39 seconds belongs to Noah Olson, but probably not for much longer. Look at that tempo of those steps by Matt Frazier. Very quick, and last time he was waving to the crowd at this point. He's not doing that now. Frazier continuing to march towards the finish line, and he's going to take a break, and he has to retreat to the nearest line, and here comes Patrick Velner. And look at Velner's arms. Those arms are way wide and way bent. He, that's very rough on the shoulders, but he is fighting trying to catch Matt. Frazier has the kettlebells back up, and he continues to move towards the finish line. Add it up however you want. The answer will still be the same. Matt Frazier wins the Fibonacci. Tell you what, I love seeing him chase. That's impressive. Frazier with 100 points. Now, Pat Velder and Lucas Holbrook are going to try to keep him from widening his lead. If the two of them can come in in the second and third, doesn't look like that will happen because the next fastest time is 522.39 seconds. And here comes the big Swede, Lucas Holbrook. Thirty seconds before we hit the time cap. Matt Fraser back on the lunge. Or pardon me, that's Patrick Velder back on the lunge. Fraser has finished. He won the event. Velder is in. Patrick Velder looking at a third place finish in this event, possibly. Doesn't look like he's going to beat Logan Collins. So Velder's going to take fourth. Now here comes. Brent Fakowski, who makes up a ton of ground. The first time we've talked about him in this event. Whoa. Fakowski did not make it across the finish line in time, so he will get hit with the cap. That man is going to get hit with 100 more points. His eighth career event win and a much bigger overall lead <laughs> as we head into day three of competition. Oh, man, that was a fun, fun battle to see Matt get chased, and I was really wondering how he was going to handle the pressure. You know, and he started moving very well with Pat Velner right next to him. These guys are handling those handstand push-ups. Lots of power with those legs, but they weren't the first one to get through that. We had BKG that was off the wall right away and moving those gargantuan kettlebells very, very easily. But then Matt took a handle on that and got himself to those kettlebell overhead lunges. And even though he was able to get himself out there, I saw Velner marching his way, trying to hold on. Doing everything he can, you can see him straining with those arms, but he just did not have the speed and, the, and couldn't make up the distance on Matt, and Matt just closed the gap. So, we wondered what it would look like when he isn't cheering to the crowd. Well, we just found out, and uh, that was pretty much domination. Well, last year Matt Frazier competed happy, this year he competed angry, and that's the difference. Matt Frazier wins the event, locks up 100 points, and will have a much bigger lead on top of the overall standings. Noah Olsen gets his best finish of the competition as he takes the second. Logan Collins, for the second straight year, finishes the event. Patrick Vellner continues to impress as he takes fourth. And fellow Canadian Brent Fakowski rounds out the top five. For the two-time defending, fittest man on earth is with Mike Arsenault. Thank you, Sean. Matt, your walk up to the kettlebells for the lunge looked a little bit different this year than last year. How did you prepare differently for this version of Fibonacci? Uh, you know, I still still wanted to pace up right off the start, but uh, and then really hammer it on the set of 13 and try to get the lunge unbroken, but uh, you know, it went well. This year has been a little bit different start for you. You've been pushed by Lucas, or Lucas Hogberg for the entire seven events we've seen so far in the competition. So what is that? How does that impact you mentally as you get ready for each day? Uh, you know, it doesn't really change anything. It doesn't matter if I'm in first or tenth place. You know, I'm, I'm still going to give it my all and try to try to hit it the right way. Um, you know, it's fun having go, going head to head with these guys. You know, see see what we throw down.
After the toughest day in CrossFit Games history that we saw on Wednesday, how does your body feel right now? And what do you have left in the tank as we move ahead to the weekend, Saturday and Sunday? Uh, you know, I feel I feel great right now. You know, the body's feeling good after a day off. Today was, you know, we had lots of time in between our events, so I'm ready for two more days. Thanks, Matt. Congratulations. Thank you. Five plus eight plus 13 equals Matt Fraser. 564 points as he widens his overall lead over Lucas Hogberg. Patrick Vellner is still in third, but Brent Fakowski is within striking distance. Bjorven Carl Gumanson rounding out the top five. You know what, Matt Frazier seems to definitely have, has his mojo back, but it's still a tight race. We still have half the competition left, so I don't think it's gonna be a runaway, and I'm excited, so excited to see this battle to the end. We are through two days and seven events, and for the third straight year, that man is your overall leader. Thanks for joining us here in Madison, Wisconsin, for Bill Grundler, Mike Arsenault, and Tanya Wagner. I'm Sean Woodland. We'll see you tomorrow in Madison, Wisconsin.